Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be showing you one of the interesting chess games that I was playing last week. Now here I had the black pieces, I was playing a strong rated player as well, 2047 the rating of my opponent at that point of time. I was at 1989 and it went pretty good, so I wanted to show it to you. So I started off with e4, I responded with c6, opponent goes uh, now uh, d4 and I respond with d5. Asking opponent to take the pawn, which the opponent denies and plays e5. So it becomes the advanced variation of the Karukan. I went with bishop f5. Uh, here my opponent can develop the bishop. And then the idea is to exchange. Uh, but my opponent went with knight f3, which is the best move in the situation as well. And then, then I played e6. My opponent plays bishop d3. And I take. Opponent takes back with the queen. And I went with knight to d7, trying to break open the c file next by placing c5. Then I'll have a couple of attackers. Uh, one of them can go on to c5 next. I can get my rook on the open file and take advantage of it. Now, before we continue with this game further, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So here I open place a knight to c3 and I went with c5 as planned. Open place a bishop to e3, defending the pawn further. And I took on the pawn, opponent takes back with the bishop. And then I place bishop to c5, asking for ex bishop exchange. Opponent obliges, and I take back with the knight. Now queen comes to uh, b5, and I get my knight back uh, onto d7. And this saves everything except the b7 pawn, which was then captured by my opponent. And here I try to chase this queen away and give away another pawn because I thought I can take a pawn here on b2 and then one more eventually. So that's what happens. I take a pawn on b2, open castles on the king side, and then I take another pawn. Now, if you see, it's a mistake uh, because now opponent can place queen onto a3, which will uh, not allow me to castle as well, saving the knight too. And I have lost control of the open file as well. So that's why uh, computer is saying plus five in the favor of white. Despite material wise, we are almost equal. Uh, here, my opponent plays a knight to b5, trying to give me a check next and uh, spoil my castling rights. I went with a knight to e7, uh, trying to just develop my knight, preparing to castle, which was not going to happen after, of course, knight to d6. But then at least I have an escape square for my king. And that's what I do. I move my king to f8. Now my opponent goes back with queen uh, on to e3. However, the best move as per the computer is to go on to a4 and pressurize uh, my knight further. But it's not going to help as well because I can uh, just uh, have to save my rook here. Uh, I can get it back uh, and attack the rook, the knight. But again, not really uh, a nice place for the rook to be. Uh, so that's why it was the best move. But opponent went with queen to e3 trying to attack me from the other side of the board next. Uh, I try to exchange the knights by placing knight to c8. Uh, opponent comes on to f4 hitting the pawn and uh, with the king and the queen. With the queen and the knight uh, that is going to be a checkmate if I don't take. So I took on the knight, opponent takes back and now I get my rook on to c4 hitting the queen. Uh, now queen goes back on to g3 uh, attacking a pawn but nothing much there also defending uh, the d6 pawn as well. Uh, so I played f6, trying to make sure that my king has an escape square. Uh, I just want to move my king up, my queen sideways, and then get my rook onto the empty file uh, and take advantage. Now, rook to d1 by opponent. Uh, didn't do any change to my structure, so I just went with my plan. King to f7. Opponent now starts pushing a4, uh, trying to pressurize me from the other side of the board. I went with queen a5, making sure the pawn doesn't advance further. And now I have two attackers on the pawn. Meanwhile, only one uh, defense is there. So I can win a pawn there. Now opponent plays knight to d4. And I went with a knight e5. Uh, my idea was to improve the position of my knight, cut down this pawn from the defenses of this queen. And then I can get my rook and take the pawn as well. That was the idea. Uh, here uh, my opponent plays f4, trying to kick my knight back. Uh, and so I get it on c6, trying to exchange knights, which is helpful for me because after I take with the rook, now I'm again attacking the pawn, which is not defended. So opponent plays queen to e3, which allows me to capture the pawn. 
and then opponent just sidesteps there from the uh, check because uh, one of the next ideas could have been queen to b6 and exchanging the queens. So that was coming. Uh, opponent moves the king onto h1. And I got my rook onto a c file now, c8, uh, with the idea of placing it on c3, hitting the queen. And maybe I can go someday to c2 and get my queen lined up and go for a checkmating attack as well from the second rank. Opponent plays h3 so that there is an escape square for the king always. I went with a rook to c3. Opponent goes back onto e2. And now I start pushing my d pawn. That's a pass pawn and it would be tough to control. That was the whole idea. Opponent plays a rook to b1. And I thought of exchanging the rooks here. Opponent takes and I take back with the queen, uh, controlling everything. Opponent plays queen to uh, h5. Nice move there because after I save, uh, opponent can take my pawn as well. Uh, here, uh, it's tricky to be uh, uh, placing this king on the right square because if you blunder here, something like uh, king to g8 as a checkmate, uh, it's a simple checkmate, which you can always uh, lose out on. If you go on to say uh, here, uh, on to e e7, opponent will take one pawn and then maybe another as well. So you have to uh, retain, uh, at least save this f7 eventually. So I went with uh, king to f8, opponent takes the pawn. Uh, and here I place my queen on to b2. Now queen b2 is a nice move, uh, not the engine's choice. But my idea was to attack uh, this rook as well as maybe exchange uh, the rooks and then see how I can just push this pawn further and promote to queen because I am closer to, to the queen square. Uh, here my opponent made a blunder, final blunder of the game, which was getting the rook on to b1. Uh, the idea is now to simply exchange the rooks. And after I do, my queen is on dark square, which means I'll get another pawn once we... The once the opponent moves, uh, saving the check. I got another pawn, opponent goes there. And now again, you can be too greedy and push the pawn, but you lose the pawn uh, and suddenly the game also goes away from you. It's it's like almost back to neutral. Yes, you can grab this pawn, but uh, and then you will have uh, just one extra pawn here in the end game. And you never know what happens, a couple of checks and you will lose that extra pawn too. So uh, you don't have to be greedy, stay with your pawn. That's what I do. Queen to d3, uh, e3, sorry. Opponent moves and then I push my pawn forward. Opponent can get you into perpetual as well. So you have to save checks as well. Uh, king comes to f7, another check. And this time I move away. Uh, and now there's no check coming. Opponent plays uh, queen uh, to g4, hitting the pawn on g7. And I push my pawn forward, uh, leaving my pawn hanging. Yes, the opponent can take and give a check, but then I escape another check and then I escape again. And this time now a check would be only from b8, not from uh, c5 because I control it with the queen. Uh, so opponent gives a check from b8 and I just move on to f5. Uh, another check by the opponent. And this time I got my queen in between. Happy to exchange queens of the board, which doesn't happen. And opponent moves there. Now here I could have exchanged the queens by placing queen on f4. Uh, but I think I was just busy moving my king. So I just moved it on to g6. Open tries to push his pawn, but it doesn't help because here, here comes queen e1 asking for queen exchange, which open denies. And I save another check. And now there's no check coming. And I promote to queen finally. Open takes a pawn there. Now I can take the pawn or I can just slide over onto f6. The idea is now there is no check coming. Uh, except from a d8, which I can, of course, take back. Uh, or from a c3, which again, I control. And even d4, which again, I control with the queen. So there's no checks coming. Uh, an opponent had to take the queen. And that's a simple end game thereafter, taking all the pawns. Uh, and then just checkmating in the corner. Uh, normal king and queen checkmate, which I have explained uh, in my previous videos as well. Just control and cut down on the ranks. Once the open king goes to the corner, it's a simple checkmate in the face. Uh, I hope you like the video. It was instructive, I hope. Uh, let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. And I shall see you tomorrow with some other interesting and instructive content. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.